Hi, I'm Amy Odin, and I'd like to show you how to work one of the transitions in the simple garter stitch slippers pattern. So I've completed the body of my slipper and I've done my toe decreases. So now I'm up at the top. I have 16 stitches on my needles and I have to um, prepare to divide these uh, so that I can fold my slipper over and seam the top. So I have a marker in here that uh, indicates that this is my right side and my yarn is cut here. Uh, you would have working yarn that's attached, but I've already, uh, I had already worked some of the slipper and, and, um, uh, and torn back so that I could do this demo. So uh, my working yarn is now on the right side <clears throat> and I need to bring it um, four stitches in. Uh, this, I have 16 stitches on my needle and again, I'm going to be dividing um, uh, the ends into quarters so I can fold it over. So I'm going to knit four stitches. Kind of split my yarn a little bit there. Okay, let me slip this over. Yeah, that makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my yarn forward. Okay, and then I'm gonna slip these stitches back onto my left hand needle. I'm just trying to arrange them so when I do pick them up and, and fold my work, it's easier. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna turn my work over on the wrong side. All right, and I'm gonna use two double pointed needles here to get these stitches. And you can take it off this side first, it doesn't matter. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and slip purl wise. That does not switch the stitch orientation. We don't wanna do that. So one, two, gosh, I really did split that yarn. Three, four. I'm not gonna worry about it because this is just my sample. Okay, so I've got four stitches hanging out on um, this double point here, and then I'm gonna get these four off. So I'm gonna slide these down to this side and slip them off purl-wise with my left hand. It's kind of in reverse here. So one, two, three, four, okay, and I'm going to bring my double point needles to the front. Okay, you can slide these onto your cable if you like. And here's where I'm going to fold the slipper so that I can get ready for that three noodle bind off. So I'm gonna take my double points and I'm going to turn them to the inside so that it folds, okay? So I take that one here, this one, and then it's folded and I need to, to use, I, I need to slip one of these sets of four onto a needle. It doesn't matter which one you use. I'm gonna go ahead and slip them, my left stitches to my right needle. Okay. And as you can see, tighten my working on a little bit. This is folded and I have I have an even number of stitches. That would be eight stitches on one of my needles and eight stitches, well, eight stitches on the front, eight stitches on the back. Okay, so now I'm ready to bind off. So I'm gonna turn my work. I have my working yarn coming off of my back needle. And now I'm ready to start my three needle bind off. So I'm just gonna go in as if to knit the front stitch as if to knit on the back stitch and then I'm gonna pull that stitch through whoops pull that stitch through both of those loops and pop it off just like that I'm gonna do that again okay go in as if to knit 
and then pull that through. And now, oh, I'm a little caught here. I am going to take my back needle here and I'm gonna take the tip and I'm gonna bind off that stitch. Okay, so that's the first stitch that I bound off. Remember, a three needle bind off is binding off and seaming at the same time. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the first stitch, second stitch, pop those two loops off and bind off. So you'll just continue and um, when you get to the end, you're just going to um, put your lip loop through your work and you can weave in the end and then uh, the next step is to seam your heel. So I hope that helps.